There's so many mixed messages going on right now. Uh, we're hearing that from President Biden on one end about masks. We're hearing great news uh, about the efficacy of the Moderna and Pfizer drug. We're having states uh, opening up at the same time. We're, we're, we're having uh, the age limits brought down so that people can get the vaccines. We're being told that people with vaccines can meet in person with other people with vaccines, but maybe not with people who haven't had vaccines. Just make sense of all of it if you could try to break it down for what has to happen uh, over the next, let's say, four to eight weeks. Yeah, Andrew, and you're, you're not the only one confused, clearly, because I would say probably everybody, including public health professionals, are confused about what message to send. Schools open, schools close. I think first things first, we have to look at the data and the trends. We are seeing in st certain states, as you've covered before, states, New Jersey, New York, Michigan, we are seeing rises. It's reminiscent of the early part of the pandemic, Andrew, as you recall, that we had kind of this regionality to the surge. And that's essentially what we're seeing. Parts of New York City, for example, that have been completely dominated by a concerning variant, B1526, with a concerning mutation to a spike protein we see across all the concerning variants. And then on the other hand, we do have states, especially the temperate climates, which probably play a role in this, Texas, Florida, where we've essentially eliminated any restrictions and have seen rises, but not to the proportion in some of the Northeast and Midwest states. Is On that, top of that, do you think you that's mentioned, a distinction between, yeah. Kavita, is that, is that an outdoor versus indoor situation? Meaning it's, it's still cold it's, it's at, on the East Coast yes. and people are having dinners yeah. at people's homes and things. Is that, is that what you're, you're thinking the distinction is? Right. There's, there's, that's definitely a factor combined with that, Andrew. The, the, I think the two combo there is the temperate climates combined with the fact that even when there were restrictions in New York State, for example, on restaurant indoor dining capacity, there was very uneven enforcement. And I can tell you that just looking at mobility data, you can tell that people were indoors when there were supposed to be no people indoors. So, yes, I do think that spring break and just frustrations have forced people into settings. And then temperate climates, places like Texas and Florida and the southeast, where you have an opportunity to conduct business outdoors, likely more safe, as well as local. You've seen the Miami mayor, the Miami Beach mayor. Some of the local jurisdictions have clamped on masking and enforced masking and using the police to enforce masking. So you see that combined with the trends across all the states. Every single governor is trying to beat Joe Biden's kind of April 19th deadline. I think that's a good one for opening up eligibility. You saw Texas as the first state, March 29th, to open eligibility to basically anyone 16 or older to receive a vaccine. So I think the frustrating part right now is that you can go online right now and try to get a vaccine. Spots are still limited. That supply should improve over the next four to six weeks, especially if we see newcomers like Novavax and then our favorite AstraZeneca coming in with an EUA application. So you could imagine... I would say probably by May that you could have a choice of a vaccine. That's going to improve the situation. But we are going to see cases rise. And I think you heard Dr. Walensky talk about impending doom. I think she's reflecting something dramatic that we are not seeing across the entire country. But she is seeing data and she's seeing some of the concerning data, even out of India and other places. We're on double mutations, South America. And I do think that's what's causing everyone in, in her especially in the CDC and her hey, agency doctor. to raise red flag. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.